So, welcome sa ating new tutorial for today which is propositions and negations. So, unahin muna natin yung propositions. So, ano nga ba yung propositions in terms of sa mathematics in the modern world? So, ang sabi dito, propositions is a statement which is either true or false. So, ganun lang ka easy. Kung baga, may bibigay sa inyo na statement tapos i-identify nyo lang kung true yung statement or false yung statement. Kung tama ba yung statement or mali yung statement. So, for example, letter A na example natin ngayon, which is 9, is a prime number. So, ang sabi dito, 9 daw ay prime number. The statement is false. So, false ang statement na to, itong example A, which is 9 daw ay prime number. Kasi, ang isang number, magiging prime number lang siya kapag yung factor niya ay isa lang. Ang factor niya is 1 times itself. So, for 9 naman, di ba yung 9, meron siyang factor na 9, sabi natin 9, for 9, meron siyang factor na 9 times 1, which is 9. Meron din siyang isang factor pa, which is 3 times 3, which is also 9. So, ang prime number, kailangan isa lang yung factor niya. Magiging true pa sana tong statement kapag 5 ang ginamit. Kasi ang 5, isa lang ang factor niya, which is 1 times 5 lang. Is equals to 5, wala nang iba. Ang 9 kasi, mayroon, siya, mayroon pa siyang isa pa. So, dalawa yung factor niya. So, it means the statement A is false. So, ganun lang yung proposition pag sa mathematics. For example, B naman, let's try to determine kung true or false ba tong statement na to. So, ang statement for B is 5 plus 3 is equals to 8, which is automatically true. Kasi, very obvious naman, 5 plus 3 is 8. So, the statement is true. For letter C na example naman natin ngayon for propositions, meron tayong x raised to 2 plus y raised to 2 is greater than or equals to zero. Okay, greater than or equals to zero. Now, paano mo matitest kung tama yung statement? So, first things first, mag-assign ka ng value sa x and y. So, let's say for example, ang x natin, let x is 1. Sabihin natin ganyan. And then, sabihin natin y din is 1. Okay, ilalagay natin dito sa ating statement. So, di ba yung statement is x squared plus y squared. Okay, kukunin muna natin ang value nito. So, lagay natin ang 1 raised to 2, then plus yung y naman, 1 pa rin, raised to 2, which is equals to 2. Kasi 1 raised to 2 is 1, plus 1 raised to 2 is 1 pa rin. So, 1 plus 1 is 2. So, yung statement ay tama kasi, di ba, 2 is greater than 0. O, di ba? So, yung statement ay true na what if naman 0 yung x natin at saka y. For example, ganito, yung x natin is 0 raised to, raised to 2 plus 0 raised to 2, which is equals to 0. Na, pero yung statement natin, meron tayong or equals, di ba? Greater than or equals to 0. Ibig sabihin, itong x raised to 2 plus y raised to 2 is 0, which is also equals to 0. So, kahit 0 yung value ng x and y, Ibig sabihin, yung statement, true pa rin. So, the statement for letter C, or the proposition statement, is true. Lagay na lang natin dito na true, kasi true naman yung statement natin. Now, for letter D example, meron tayong 10 daw is less than negative 3. Now, dito pa lang, masabi mo ng false ang statement. Now, bakit? Kasi... Ang 10 daw, mas maliit daw sa negative 3. Which is very wrong. Kasi any positive number is greater than negative number. So kahit 1 pa yan, tapos yung kinocompare ay negative 1,000, mas malaki pa rin yung positive 1. Kasi ganun yung rules for integers. So this statement, which is sabi nito na 10 daw ay mas maliit sa negative 3, ay false. So ganito lang yung pagdetermine sa mathematics ng statement or propositions using true or false. So, let's move on naman sa negations. For negation naman, we have the definition or its definition used when determining the opposite of a given mathematical statement. So, kung ano yung given na statement sa inyo, yung negation niya, yun yung opposite na tinatawag, opposite na mathematical statement. 
And then, the representation of a statement is P. Okay? Yung symbol for that statement, o yung bibigay sa inyo na statement, ang, ang symbol nun ay letter P, capital letter P. Tapos, yung negation o yung opposite ng binigay sa inyo na statement, ang kabaliktaran ng statement ay lalagyan, lalagyan nyo ng not P or not the statement. Kabaliktaran ng statement, yung negation. And then, yung symbol ng kabaliktaran ng statement ay yung ganito, yung not P. Ganito yung not P. Parang ganyan siya o yung line, straight line, and then pababa ng konti, and then capital letter P. So, not P ang pagbasa dyan. Not P, hindi daw P, or meaning yung opposite ng given statement. Okay, pag may given statement daw kayo, ganito, the statement P, kapag yung statement nyo na binigay sa inyo ay true, ay true ang kabaliktaran nun o yung negation niya, yung not P ay false. Siyempre, pag yung statement na bibigay sa inyo, yung kabaliktaran niya, siyempre ay false. Now, kapag ang binigay naman sa inyo ay false, Ang negation naman niya ay true. So, i-apply natin tong uh, table na to. Ang tawag dito ay truth table. So, ang ibig sabihin ng truth table, it shows the truth value of a compound statement for all possible truth values of its simple statements. Okay, yung compound statement composed of two or more simple statements. Now, sa simple statements, doon natin hihimayin yung truth value. Kung true ba or false yung first statement. So, ganun yung application for truth table. Katulad nito, this is what we call a truth table for negation. So, let's apply the negate on how to determine the negation of a statement. I-apply natin yung negation na topic natin kanina. So, ang sabi dito, determine the negation of the following statements. So, yung number one na statement, nilagay na dito na P. Ito yung P sim symbolizes the statement, yung P. So, the square root of 2 daw is a rational number. Ibig sabihin, pag the negation of P o yung negation ng statement na to ay the square root of 2 is not a rational number. Or, pwede nyo mo ding sabihin, the square root if of 2 is an irrational number. Pwede din ganito. Negation of P, the square root of 2 is an irrational number. Okay, let's determine kung yung sa truth table natin kanina, nakapag true ang statement, false na naman ang negation. Kapag false ang statement, yung negation niya ay true. Okay, the square root of 2 is a rational number is false. False ang statement na to. Kasi the square root of 2 is an irrational number. Yung square kasi ng 2, hindi siya ma-express in terms of fraction. Decimal lang siya. It is considered as an irrational number. Kaya yung lumabas, kapag false ang statement, yung negation niya ay true. This one is true. Pero hindi naman natin kailangan determine kung true or false ba yung statement. Ang sinabi lang sa instruction, o yung instruction sa atin na i-determine lang yung negation ng statement. So, pinakita ko lang sa inyo kung paano na-apply yung truth table kanina. Nakapag-false ang statement, yung negation is true. So, kapag true naman ang statement, false yung negation niya. So, number 2 naman, meron tayong statement na to, which is... The P, which is 6, is an odd number. Ang statement ay, ang 6 daw ay odd number. Now, ano yung negation ng statement na to? Yung negation kasi, lalagyan mo lang ng not. Kung ano yung sinasabi dito, lalagyan mo lang not. So, for example, this one sa 6. 6 is not an odd number. So, ganun lang kasimple. Basta, lagyan mo lang ng not. Kasi yung meaning kasi ng negation, not P not the statement, or yung kabaliktaran ng statement, or opposite of the statement. Pwede mo ding isulat na the negation of P, ganyan, negation of P is 6 is an even number. Okay. Diba kasi ang kabaliktaran naman ng add ay even number, which is true naman. Kasi, in, itong statement natin ay false also. Same din sa ating number 1 na problem. Kasi 6 is not an odd number. 
an odd number is 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. Ganyan. Tapos yung 6 kasi, kasali yan siya sa even number, which is 2, 4, 6, 8. So, itong negation ng P, negation ng statement ay true. So, ganito yung paggawa ng negation sa isang statement. Nalagyan mo lang ng not. Or, kung ano yung kabaliktaran mismo ng given statement, pwede mo din yun i-apply. Like this one, add number, yung kabaliktaran ng add number, o yung opposite niya ay even number. For number 3 problem naman, mer or statement, meron tayong statement na this one, mathematical expression. So, 5 is less than 9. So, 5 is less than 9. So, hanapin natin yung negation again or susulat natin. So, pwede natin ilagay 5 is not, pwede in terms of word, is not less than 9. Pwede ganyan. Na pwede ring negation niya ay, pwede ring ang negation niya ay 5 is greater than 9. Kasi, yung opposite naman ng less than ay greater than. Kaya, pwede ganito. Or pwede namang in terms of mathematical statements. Yung 5 is not less than 9. Tapos, kung i-determine natin kung true yung statement, which is 5 is less than 9, true nga naman. Kasi, ang 5 naman ay mas maliit kumpara sa 9. So, this one, ibig sabihin ang ating negation ay false. Kasi, ang negation natin kasi... 5 is not less than 9, which is wrong. And then, 5 is greater than 9, which is false talaga. Kasi hindi naman siya mas malaki sa 9. So, ganito lang yung negation for this statement. So, you can use the symbol greater than. Kasi yung opposite ng less than ay greater than. So, for number 4 statement, meron tayong 1 half is equals to 0 0.5. So, ang negation ng 1 half is equals to 0 0.5 ay 1 half is not equal to 0 0.5. Diba yung is not equal to, yung ganyan, equals and then yung slash, yung parang not equal, meaning. So, ganito lang yung negation. Now, yung statement natin, yung first statement natin ay true. Kasi ang 0 0.5, one half nga naman, pareho lang yun. In, in, iniba lang yung representation. This one is only a fraction and then this one is a decimal representation of one half. Pareho lang yan. And then, ang negation natin ay false. Kasi, pareho lang ang value o yung, yung halaga ng 1 half pati 0 0.5. Iba lang yung pag-represent nila. In terms of decimal nga lang and fraction. Now, this one is the negation. So, yung negation natin ay false. Para sa ating last statement, number 5 statement, we have 0 is greater than 1. So, automatically, very obvious naman talaga yung statement na yung 0 daw mas malaki sa 1 which is false. Pero however, yung pinapahanap sa atin, yung negation ng mismong statement. Kahit false yan, hahanapin mo pa rin yung negation niya. So, pwede natin gamitin ang negation na zero is not. ba yung word na not, negation kasi yan. Zero is not greater than one. Ganyan. Or, pwede din natin gamitin yung ganito. Zero is less than 1. So, ganyan. May maraming choices on how to show the negation of a certain statement. As long as tama naman yung gagamitin mong opposite na statement for the given statement. So, since greater than ang binigay dito, na pwede kang gumamit ng less than. Or, pwede mo lang gamitan ng not na word. Pwede mo lang gamitan ng not na word. So, 0 is not greater than 1. Or, pwede mong gamitin 0 is less than 1. Now, let's determine kung true nga ba or false ang statement natin. Ang sabi sa statement, mas malaki ang 0 sa 1, which is false. This one is false. Now, ibig sabihin, these two negations na nakuha natin or ginawa natin ay true ang statement nito. Uh, the negation is true. 0 is not greater than 1 and 0 or 0 is less than 1. So, that's it for propositions and negations. Stay tuned for more videos.